Hey guys, it's me Lee and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're actually doing a nail video. Um, basically we're just doing these nails. Um, hopefully you can see them. Uh, so this nail here is a water decal. Um, as you can see I've already done it. This is one by Queen of Decals. This was a custom order though. Uh, I don't know if you can buy custom orders um, but if you look in my decal video you will see um, the full collection that I got, blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, basically we're just going to recreate this look on this hand, but on this hand, because obviously we have to match. Um, we don't have to, but I have to, um, because I'm weird, um, and I don't like being odd. So, as you can see, I've got crap everywhere. So, to start off with, I am going to do my pinky and my thumb, and I'm literally just going to be doing mega white. In my Dappen dish, I have some Neo Nails medium speed liquid. I have this to rest my hand on. This is just a different Dappen dish. So I'm literally just going to do white on here, white on here. This finger is just built up with clear. This is encapsulated inside clear acrylic. This nail, uh, this decal, because I actually want it to. Um, you know, what's the word? Stay, you know, not deteriorate, not peel off or, you know, risk any of that sort of stuff. The other colour I'm using, which will be on here, will be Pure Black. This is a Nail Nails product. Oh, sorry. Uh, I want to apologise for not uploading a video last week. Uh, I had um, some stuff that I had to deal with um, emotionally, mentally. And I just wasn't able to upload a video, so I do apologise for that. Um, sometimes, you know, stuff gets in the way, life and stress and stuff like that. So, you basic, oh, basically, I just want a pure white nail at the minute for this. And I'm just going to make sure that it's as, as solid as a white as I can possibly get it. And, you know, as smooth. Uh, in the background you will hear that I'm watching RuPaul Drag Race. Um, I've been watching that recently. It's actually really good. I absolutely love it. And I really wish I could meet some of these gorgeous drag queens and they could teach me how to do makeup because I suck at makeup. So how is everyone doing? I know uh, this coronavirus um, thing is stressful and boring. And just seems like people are either drinking it away and other, you know, bad stuff. Drink, drink's not bad, but obviously some other things, you know, like drugs. People are doing that a lot lately. Some people I know, sorry. Um, as well as drinking and stuff. And I just hope that people calm down. I mean, I get it. There's nothing to do and, you know, drink other than drinking. But, you know, you know, you, you got to look after your health. And you know, people want to be around. If if you want to be around, that is obviously. I don't even know what I'm rambling about. I just I've got a lot on my mind. Sorry. Um. So I love one of my favorite characters from Disney is Jack Skellington. That's why I have like a whole you know array of. Jack Skellington, but I don't, I don't like the, like, you know, the Christmassy version. I want, like, I like the proper Halloween, but it's probably because I like Halloween as well. Halloween's my favourite holiday. Um, so, I, I wanted the Queen of Decals to make me a custom set. Um, to, well, two custom sets, actually, because I had two lots, didn't I? Um, I'm just going slow. Um... And I, I was, I chose the decal that I chose because I wanted to have my nails short. Uh, when I have them longer, I'm always catching them and like ripping them off and damaging them, you know, my actual nail beds. And it, it's, my finger's been hurting lately. So, because the last set I had on, I completely like caught it on the back of some the cooker trying to clean it. And then boom, like literally ripped it off and it friggin' hurt. So... 
but I'm hoping I'm in shot and stuff so I apologize if I'm not it's been a while since I've recorded like a nail video Okay, so I've done the white. So you don't have to put a lot on, especially with the black. I, I usually do it like in small, thin layers. So I do try and clear my nail. I'm watching season two if you want to know which one I'm watching. It's the, the finale. There's three of them. There's Tyra, Jujubi and Raven. And they are all beautiful. And yeah, I'm watching that particular episode of RuPaul's Drag Race at the minute. Uh, I've watched all the season 11 and season 12. Uh, discovered it recently and uh, I didn't know. And I absolutely love it. It's one of the things that I watch before I go to bed. Well... I say when I go to bed, but I don't go to bed till like 2 o'clock in the morning because I can't sleep. So. Okay. Okay, so that's them done. Let me just grab this little stand for my brush. Okay, so the first, the last thing I do before I do anything else is I cap um, these nails because I want them to be um what's the word you know extra secure in case I haven't put enough on plus when I file I don't actually want to be uh, filing through to the colour so I want to make sure that it's one pure solid colour all the way through so that's what I'm doing here uh, So you can file it down, but this is just a mainly. So if there's anything, you know, like lumps, bumps and stuff, you can file it down without any worry about getting it on your actual Okay, so, I mean, I could add more bling, but I only wanted, you know, just a smidge. It's been a while since I've had, like, proper bling nails, and, you know, I, li I like my bling. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to file shape and buff these off camera. Hang on. And then I will come back to do the decoration part of the nails. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be back in a few. Okay, guys, so I'll file shaped and buff my nails and get the bit of dust that's in between my fingers. So this is what they look like so far. Um, 
So to start off with, I am going to stamp this nail and this nail. So the stamping plate I'm using is this one and it is hang on, X, Y, I don't know if you can see it, X, Y dash Z, O, 1. And I am literally using this liney detail thing there. So I'm going to be using this Moyu black polish. Uh, I'm going to use a Born Pretty scraper. And this does have another piece that's got gems and stuff, but that's in my drawer. I can be asked to get it out. Um, so you want to make sure you've got everything ready. Um, I do have here some acetone and some gel residue wipe off. Um, they're both nail nails. Um, yeah, so they're both nail nails. So I'm just going to open my polish because you have to make sure everything's around so you can do it quick. You know. So obviously I have something to rest my hand on. Uh, I think we'll do my thumb first. So you want to... And then put some of this polish stuff on here. And then you want to scrape, scrape and pick up. So that's what it looks like. So I'm going to do my thumb first. Now I prefer these clear jelly stampers because you can see where you're going to put it. So you want to rock it back and forth and then tap the end. And then I'm going to get some acetone here from my pumpy one and literally just clean. Swipe it off and clean, and just clean. And then you do the same for the little finger. So, so we're gonna do that. It's more of a flick, you know, when you wanna pick up uh, this stuff. So this is kind of like a Beetlejuice type of vibe. Now you can either use like a little pad or something, um, you know, like a lint-free wipe to get rid of any of the excess that's on the fingers. I am going to use some acetone on a brush because it's a bit tidier and it will melt any Okay, so that's that. So, oh, bloody hell, I forgot to clean. So we got to clean. No, you have to make sure you clean because obviously you don't want to ruin your stuff and all that. So that's that done. Okay, so... That's all this done so far. I have gone over slightly as you can see. So I just want to show you that. I'm not going to do anything because it's just my nails. If it was a client, you could cover that with um, glitter or bling. That is entirely up to you. So where did I put my poly gel? Oh, the, right in front of my eyes. So on this finger, I've got some poly gel. So this is a yo 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 G. Yo Yo G Polar Gel. This is natural clear. Uh, I use this for sticking gems on if it's like in clusters or it's big gems. I have this. This you can buy on eBay. Um, you can buy it for like, I think it's like a quid, two quid. Um, and sometimes you can get, I think it's around about three quid for about ten of these. It depends on how many you want. Um, but if you do diamond paintings, um, if you look on my Facebook, you'll see that I've just done a Freddy Krueger, Jack Skellington one. Um, the, you get these in those. And the gems I'm using are these. I don't know where I got these on from, but I would assume either eBay or AliExpress. So I'm using this one here. So I'm just going to dump them out. I'm using my gem picker-upper. 
Now this I got on eBay. This was about three or four pound. You can get some others as well. So I'm going to use this brush. It has lids. So it's a brush on one end, it's a spatula on the other. And then Okay, so, oh, wrong one, I was going to use acetone then, don't use acetone. So I've got some, so literally we're going to pat and press. So you literally just patting and pressing this I might have put too much on Oops. so I'm literally just going to pat and press I want to make sure that every single bit of the nail is covered and I want to make sure it's smooth and Okay, so, oh, sorry about that. So now I'm gonna, I've put it on, it's completely covered. I'm gonna get my jams and I'm gonna, you can, some people um, put top coat, I'll do that actually. Um, I've got Madame Glam. Uh, normally I would use a no wipe top coat, but I'm gonna use this one up at the minute because uh, this one's open. And the only ones I've got is, you know, brand new ones. And I don't want to waste. I'd rather use what I've got open first. So. So. Okay, so I've done all around the edges. Now I'm just going to fill everything in.
Okay, so that's the bling nails so that goes in the lamp. I'm putting that in the lamp for 30 seconds and I will be back in a sec. Okay, so last but, what need, what, last but not least is the top coating and the cuticle oil. So the top coat I'm using is obviously the Madame Glam. Uh, this is one that you have to wipe. This does have a tacky layer, this particular one. So you don't have to wipe this, but you will have to wipe it with your residue wipe off because there is a tacky layer. And then you just, you know, go over your nails, shine them up. You could do a matte, but I prefer my nails to be glossy. It's very rare I have matte nails. My son has come strolling downstairs. Probably to talk about bloody Roblox. Drives me crackers, that thing. He's well upset because he really, really, really wants a secret. Is that right? Is it a secret pet you want? Yeah, secret pet. He's banging on about a bloody secret pet on his bubblegum simulator game. And he keeps showing me on, on eBay like I'm going to spend 70, 80 quid on a flipping fake toy pet thing like nope not happening kid and then do the thumb Okay, so I'm going to put this in the lamp for 30 seconds. I think it's 30 seconds. Hang on. I can't see. Bloody Nora. Oh, yeah, it's 30 seconds in an LED lamp. 60 seconds in a LED lamp. So I'm just putting this in the lamp for 30 seconds. My kids just showed me some black square top animal. I'm not buying you a giveaway either because you're not going to win. Okay, so I'm going to get the gel residue wipe off solution and a lint free wipe. And I'm going to wipe the tacky layer. I'm just going to, right, I need to do underneath this jack nail because obviously it is see through, it needs. Uh, you know, making sure that it's uh, like a glass, so you just okay, so that goes in the lamp as well for 30 seconds. So I'm just going to wipe under there. So the cuticle oil I'm using, as always, for me, is this peach one by Nail Nails. I do have others, it's just I like the smell of this one. So I just need to... Uh... Okay, and then you rub it in. Okay, so that's the final look. So I'm going to get my kid to do like a little thing, you know, where you take a picture and it's all type of thing. Um, but yeah, so that's the finished look. So I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any ideas for any other videos. Um, at the minute, I am... In the process of making a little tutu dress for my stepkids baby sister she's so cute and I, i've not made a tutu for anyone in a long time um so i'm gonna make her a tutu uh, i don't think i'm doing a video on that because obviously i haven't got like a, a a place to make that um i have uh what's it called um hang on let me go and get the thing and i'll show you 
Okay, so I've made this recently. Let me take it out of the packaging. Uh, you see, you've seen me make quite a few of these. I've put, um, you know, pictures on my Facebook and stuff like that. This is a compact mirror. It's a bit glittery on the inside. Let's get my unicorn. Um, so it's got this in here. And when you press the button, it lights up. So you will have seen me do a few of these. I even have, I think I have a video where I showed you how I made one of these. Uh, my idea is I do have a, a giveaway for when I get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, let me just turn this light off, see if it's anything here. Um, so I do have a giveaway for when I get to 1,000 subscribers. But what I was thinking of was making, not Jack and Sally, but you know, like another Disney themed mirror and... Um, little man, will you pass me my other mirror from over there? So, uh, let me just get it. You know, the little one in the glass where the brushes are? That mirror? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, what I was thinking of was a form a 2000 subscriber giveaway was making a matching set because, um, you know, for um, of mirror and you know, you already, if you was been, you know, at the beginning-ish of my channel, I do have a video um, with a 4,000 subscriber giveaway, which is basically a complete nail kit. Um, well, pretty much, it's full now. I can't, I can't fit anything else in the box. It is super heavy. So um, that is a 4,000 subscriber giveaway. I have got that. What I'm going to uh, make a set. I don't know if it's going to be this Jack and Sally set because I do have a mirror on its way to make another one but you know a mirror to match um or I might make a completely different set you know like Dumbo or Cruella de Vil you know some sort of Disney themed mirror but this is a handheld and then obviously so this I use for when I do makeup um so my, my plan is to make a set you know a matching set for um a winner on when I, my channel hits 2,000 subscribers for that. Obviously, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway is um, water decals for two winners. Um, and then I'm going to hand make, obviously, these for my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. And then, obviously, I have a 4,000 subscriber giveaway that's just ready waiting for when my channel hits that amount. Um, because, obviously, that is a lot of money if you look at what's in the kit. Um, and, and even when I did that video, there's actually some stuff, I think, that's been added after the video. But if you check the list, there is, like, a whole uh, list of what you actually physically get. Because I have been adding, when I've been adding stuff, I have gone on and added what it is you will be getting in that giveaway. Um, so, yeah. So, I hope you like this video, Ged. And I'm sorry... It's been a, a bit of a ramble and I hope to see you in the next one. I'm not sure what my next video is going to be, but I'm, I'm sure I will think of something and it would be liked by you guys. So I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Thank you.